What's the word I'm looking for? Stefan's Law, do you guys remember your thermodynamics? The temperature is going to travel from here and go through the wall to you here, right? I've known infrared and FLIR specifically for a while, and then this year with the opportunity of the new building and the funding, you know, I, I really went forward and said, hey, maybe we can get a couple of these FLIR cameras, and they said yes, and we run with it. So we're gonna go into what's known as the U-value. It's its ability to transfer that heat through. My name is Alyssa, and I'm going to be a junior. Uh, I'm Ruben Serrano, and I'm class of 2017. My name is Samantha, and I'm gonna be studying mechanical engineering. My name is Nicholas Acosta, and I go to Downey High School, and I'm gonna be a junior. So we have our equation up here. It's U equals P over A delta T. Heat transfer, even though my hand is not there anymore, there's still heat from my hand. I mean, I visualize that in my head, but the FLIR camera gave me something to literally look at and understand. When children come visiting the school, we gotta show them that. I'll put my hand for like five seconds or so, and then I remove it, and they see that the heat's still there. It just, it makes it so easy to understand. I'm excited about the new toys. Um, well, access to equipment. We have so much. We have the 3D printers, we have FLIR equipment, we have uh, robotics equipment, and the CNC machines. and. We'll go to competitions and we'll go to other places and we'll see adults working on the robots on the solar boat. You'll look at our school and you'll just see like all the kids working on it and the teacher, Mr. Yamasaki, kind of standing back just watching over us making sure everyone's doing the right thing. I guess he notices the kids that work the hardest, like the people that are here on their summer vacation right now. And if we work hard, then he works hard for us and he gives us all these opportunities. So what I want you guys to do right now is determine the R value of this wall cavity. So from the outside to the inside. I think it's a game changer. Before we would do little labs and you know, we're reading with thermometers or maybe little thermal coupled sensors. But with the cameras, you're actually seeing it and it's more than just a number because it could be you know, 100 degrees in this spot. 110 degrees here, they could never see that before. It would just be, okay, your thermometer says 100 degrees, everything's 100 degrees. So the visual impact, it, it's huge on them. We leave with the knowledge that our first year in college is pretty easy. We're prepared for it. They're used to what they're expecting, and they'll usually get jobs as tutors just <laughs> because they're that far advanced. We're gonna work a little problem, which you're gonna do on the whiteboard, because of course you have your whiteboard markers, right? We got this, you sure? So for me to be able to share my experience with these kids, let them play with the technology, I mean, for me it's a dream come true just to have this position. When I graduate from high school, I plan on majoring in aerospace engineering and hopefully working like at SpaceX or NASA. I would love to go into robotics, which is a mix of mechanical engineering and electrical engineering. I really had my eye on aerospace engineering, it's building a plane or learning about rockets. Inspiration, that's the word I'm looking for.